say I'm a bit of an old school number nine. You know, I like to run in behind, hold the ball up. You know, I'm a little bit, a little bit aggressive. Like to get my hands on. But at the end of the day, it's about scoring goals. So I just look to help my team score as many goals as I can. I think now with the with the recent track records of youth going into the first team, I thought it was a, a great project to try and be a part of. Terry, you killed this. Played into the gap, Beareth will give chase. Arsenal have men over here, Salah's in the middle, chance to finish it. Oh, he's. Nice ball forward, intelligent flick on as well. For the ability to punish you, let's see what Arsenal can do here, though. I've not seen too much of him so far, but he's combining really well with DRF. And open on the far side is Amari Hutchinson, who sells the dummy. And Taylor Hart. No whistle. An opportunity to cross it. Beareth, who gets Arsenal's third and restores the two goal advantage. Well, Palace switched off completely. They thought that they would. Takes his time and floats a delightful ball and Beareth with the finish. And that is a fine, fine goal. From Beareth, Arsenal lead by two. It is a brilliant bit of poaching. Said Beareth. But even then, the finish is superb because it's a volley and he's just fed it into that far corner. I mean, poor defending but great finish. One of them is Salah. On it goes to Ali Biosu and into Beareth. Well, they might be down to 10 Arsenal, but right on half. Dion Rankin, Brody Hughes, and Charlie Webster off. That's what I can see at the moment. There's four. Oh no, I don't. Beeret here. Uh, it's cumbersome. I've done it. Oli Inka. Still Oli Inka. It's a good block tackle, but Beeret stabs it in. It's a hat trick for Mika Beeret. Mika Beeret. Yeah, but well, again, we don't do the right things on this uh, on our left, and uh, Umbi Amber's again involved. Um, the deflection falls into his path, but he's got a hat trick and he's played very well. He's led the line and uh, and he's done his job for Arsenal today. But uh, again, Andy's on Monday morning. Goal that Chelsea have finished. They've been deadly with finishing them. Fair play to that, including this young man here, Mika Biret, is trying to tee up number five. It's a lovely dummy that from Salah Ullard. And Makes touch. Short O'Neill was in again. And Fulham are breaking again. It could be three here. It's Beeret. And Harris. 3 0. From the home side and away from danger. And Beareth carries on the charge. He might be able to run in here. Beareth one on one with the goalkeeper and scores the crucial second goal just as Chelsea were asking some questions it was route one direct stuff the ball played over the top towards Biareth it wasn't the best of defending but that all matters now what a fine finish under pressure that is
surely going to be two, no. Players right, easy hit the bar. Pierith, put away from Bashir Humphreys. That's allowed to travel a long way. And Bergstrom's had to kick it clear. Persuasion. 
clever work from the Arsenal striker. Yeah, I've been impressed with him so far, Max. Quick have it three on three. This is Beret. And O'Neill. Oh, what a brilliant tackle from Wiggett and St Hit it with plenty of power. All of a sudden, I still have a tricky three and a half minutes left. Defensively, I was hoping we might get beyond him, but um, he's, he's done real well defensively. But going forward, he's been electric and uh, he's created a lot of problems on that uh, hour right there left. Well, that knock will give uh, Mika Biret a, uh, a little break here. And Amari Hutchinson is going to replace him. So he's done his job. He's helped win his side the match and he's going to grab the match ball if he can hobble on at the full-time whistle here. His replacement, Amari Hutchinson is very highly thought of and